What's up, everybody? Justin here on a Friday morning. I don't got anything to do today. I don't got to work, so why not do a new list video? This is a new episode of The List. What is The List? I'll tell you what it is. It's where I give my opinions on wrestling news stories. Um, stories from Twitter. Uh, wrestling Twitter beefs, rest, uh, Twitter wars. Mostly on the list, I talk about wrestling. Wrestling-related items, news items, news stories, rumors, whatever. I'm just a hardcore fan. I am a hardcore fan of WWE, and I love pro wrestling. I watch a lot of other different companies. I watch ROH. I try to watch Impact, the, a couple clips they put out on their YouTube channel, Impact Wrestling. I don't know if I'm going to watch it on Twitch again. I just don't. I just, I don't really like watching on Twitch, I'll be honest. Because I don't have the Pursuit channel. I don't know who the hell does. Anyways. So this episode of the list is going to be about one story. It's not even a story. It's It just uh, exploded on Twitter yesterday. Let's see when the first tweet was sent out about well, the uh, 27th. 27th, basically, the Twitter war started. That's what I'm going to talk about. That's what I'm going to give my opinions on. The Twitter war between Becky Lynch, the man, and Ronda Rousey. So here we go. Our first tweet was Becky's uh, obviously professionally done, probably by WWE uh, camera guy. Or WWE uh, photo, what do they call those guys? Photographer, I guess. Probably was hired by WWE. Took like professional pictures of Becky and supposed to be in jail. Her mug shots. First off, if those are real jail pictures, those are the hottest mug shots I've ever seen. Ever. Those are damn hot. So Ron, uh, Becky put out that tweet of her three mug shots. It's on her Twitter from uh, February 26th. Go check it out. So then Ronda Rousey decided to reply on the 27th. She said, that's what I'm trying to do, dumbass. Whatever uh, Becky said, she brought up Ronda's name. Says, Rhonda, you go back and get that belt because I didn't come this far to collect it from Stephanie. I came all the way to take it from you. Rhonda didn't like that, so she uh, she responded. And I'll talk about what Rhonda said a lot more in a minute. Rhonda responds, that's what I'm trying to do, you dumbass. First off, I think that Twitter war is hilarious. I don't think it's been taken far at all. I don't think it's been taken far enough. I enjoy Twitter wars anyways. I'm entertained by it. I am entertained by the Becky Rhonda tweets at each other. I think it's great. It is great hype for WrestleMania. It is great hype to see them together eventually in the ring together. Hopefully... After WrestleMania, they'll be one-on-one. -on -one. Maybe by SummerSlam, they'll have a one-on-one -on -one match. I don't know. But I know after WrestleMania, Ronda is going to film a movie. So she's going to be going away for a while. A lot of fans and a lot of people on Twitter and a lot of Ronda Rousey haters. I'm not one of them, by the way. I'll get to what she tweeted and I'll give my opinions on them. But I do not hate her. I just think she's an idiot with what she tweets. 
and she shouldn't uh, tweeted what she did. It was stupid. It was just really dumb of her, but she did it. And maybe uh, knowing her, and she'll probably not delete the tweet of what what a lot of people were offended by, and they had a right. They everybody had a right to be offended by it. Some probably were not. So, anyways, um, Rhonda says you're hobbling around trying to be the ginger clutch crutch ninja and taking fake prison photos in the hallway isn't helping. That's kind of funny. But uh, Rhonda, I will say this about Rhonda and Becky's Twitter war. This is a new episode of The List, by the way, where I'm talking about this, the entire episode. I don't want to talk about anything else because this is uh, funny to me and entertaining their Twitter war and their tweets back and forth at each other. I will say Becky won. Becky won the war. She won the Twitter war. She basically always does. Probably 90... 9, 98% of the time, Becky wins Twitter wars against other uh, female females in WWE. Becky always wins at Twitter wars. She is great on social media. Mostly on Twitter. Because I'm not on anything else. I don't consider YouTube social media. I'm on a... Basically, Twitter and Instagram, and that's all I'm on. And I make videos on my YouTube channel. Anyways, Becky is one of the best at uh, on Twitter. Her Twitter game is like far and above, far and beyond everybody else's in wrestling. She is the best at it. She is the best at just destroying people, murdering people. Getting them to shut the F up. Uh, especially a lot of stupid fans that try to attack wrestlers. If you are a fan, do not do that on Twitter. Um, I'm guilty of attacking two wrestlers I can think of. But I'm sorry. I'm not going to apologize for that. Because I never liked them. And I really don't care. If they were offended. Obviously they didn't like it. Because they blocked me. Who am I talking about? Jerry Lawler and JBL. They didn't like what I had to tweet about them. I don't give a crap. They can be angry all they want. I don't really care. I'll, uh, I really have no other male wrestlers. That I don't like. To disrespect. Or tweet at. Or be rude to them. Or curse at them or make a a bad, dirty joke to them like I did to Jerry Lawler. Yeah, it was a cheap shot at Jerry Lawler. I tweeted to him years ago. I tweeted, I think he was still on commentary, I believe, on Raw and SmackDown. And I was just sick of hearing the guy. He should have went away, should have retired, should have got off TV. Thankfully, he's off TV. Thank God, except for on the pay-per-view all pre-shows, and I don't have a problem with him being on there. But even though I don't like Corey Graves, and he's annoying, Corey Graves is a thousand times better than Jerry Lawler. So I did make a dirty joke to Jerry Lawler when he was on commentary. This was probably 2014, 2013. I tweeted him, uh, I think you need a diaper change. That's why I tweeted at him. He blocked me. And JBL did too, probably because I tweeted you're a drunk. And he didn't like that. They have a right to block me and good for them. I am have never been a fan of theirs. But I will tell you one thing. If I don't like a male wrestler, I, I will tweet at them that, I don't like you or something like that. Or I don't think they're a good person. Anyways, 
I will never do that ever to a female wrestler. I'll never ever do that to a female. Uh, mostly because I respect females probably more than guys, to be honest. Because I was raised by a single mo mother. So I really respect women a lot. I don't respect guys, really. Especially wrestlers. I will always respect women wrestlers. But a lot of guys, men wrestlers, I won't. If I don't like them. And as I said, I did not like JBL. I still don't. And I did not like Jerry Lawler. And I still don't like them. I don't hate their guts. But I don't like them. Not a fan. Never have been. So back to the Ronda Becky Twitter war. Ronda tries to go back at Becky and try to put her down and try to insult her, but it doesn't work. It backfires. Becky destroys her on Twitter every time, every single time. Always, she gets back at Ronda and destroys her. So, uh,. This is funny. Becky tweets back at Rhonda after 18 hours ago she tweeted at her. And Becky says and posts a picture of Rhonda, I believe with her head on a, I forget the guy's name, Tommy Weisel. On the body of him, that movie, The Disaster Artist, well, Rhonda's head is on his body. It's uh, damn funny. Check out Becky's Twitter. You'll see what I'm talking about. Becky says, keep the F word. I forgot where uh, Rhonda said that. Rhonda said something about fake, fake, fake. I, Yeah, fake. She said fake prison photos. Becky said, keep the F word out of your mouth. And concentrate on getting better at this business instead of trying to remain above it. Looking forward to seeing you real soon. Then she insulted her. Uh, destroyed Rhonda by putting her face on that, uh, what's his name, Tommy's body. The guy that the movie, The Disaster Artist, if you never heard of it, look it up. The Disaster Artist was based around that guy's story in the god-awful movie he made. Pretty damn funny movie, by the way. So Rhonda goes back at her with a photo of Becky putting her arm bar on Rhonda backstage before Survivor Series during a November Raw. November 2018 episode of Raw. Rhonda says, F word, question mark, you mean fake? And then she goes, fake like you're non- Sensical BS armbar that doesn't even work and just looks like you're holding. This is stupid. This is beyond stupid. She should have never tweeted it. It was a big mistake. It backfired. Probably got her a lot more hate than praise. Um, Rhonda, didn't you... Talk to somebody, ask somebody, have somebody that runs your damn Twitter account. You should not be tweeting. You should not be putting out your own tweets. You just shouldn't. It's You're not good at it. You are not good at it, Rhonda. You should not be uh, tweeting your own, in, your own uh, comebacks at Becky. Because you just can't win. You should have uh, tapped out and just said nothing back. Or just, I don't know. I don't know what she should have done. Probably maybe send a reply back, LOL. At the photo of her head on a guy's body. She goes, your arm bar doesn't even work. And just looks like you're holding the dick you wish you had. With a question mark. Again, is that going too far for uh, working for working for WWE? That is going too far. 
You shouldn't be tweeting dumb shit like that when you work for WWE. Um, obviously, I guess Ronda doesn't know it's a PG company. And I guess she thinks she can be rated R or triple X rated on Twitter. I don't know what she thinks. I don't think she really thinks before she tweets. And I do believe she's probably angry. I think she's angry, and the anger got the best of her. That's just my opinion. But she probably doesn't even care that she tweeted. She doesn't care if she offended anybody. She doesn't probably care at all. She probably doesn't give a damn. But again, I don't know her. I don't know if she cares and thought it was a mistake. And maybe she'll... Maybe she'll apologize to WWE on the phone. I don't know. Again, I don't know her. I know she has said a lot of dumb shit against people, and that's wrong. But I don't know her personally. I think the anger got the best of her. And I'm not defending her, by the way. I am not defending her, so... Don't uh, leave stupid comments that I'm defending Rhonda. Because I'm not. I'm just talking about what she tweeted. She let the anger, in my opinion, get the best of her. And just tweeted back at Becky. Saying, just looks like you're holding the dick you wish you had. First off, that's stupid. Really stupid. It doesn't offend me. I'm sorry, it doesn't. It does not offend me. Uh, you want to offend me, do something like uh, the Katie Vick storyline. That crap of offended me. But I'm not offended with what Rhonda said or tweeted at Becky. I'm sure a lot are and a lot hate it. And a lot probably hate her even more. But uh, first off, why she even tweet it doesn't. I don't think I don't I I don't think she had somebody working for her to do her tweets because I don't I think they would have told her Rhonda this is not a good idea I'm not gonna tweet that probably her husband egged her on and said do it do it do it back that's funny and they're probably both laughing about it so Becky responds and says huh it does or huh or whom I don't know how huh or whom it does look exactly like one now that you mention it. Again, edited Photoshop photo of Becky having the armbar on Rhonda. This is hilarious. Hilarious tweet. This absolutely destroyed Rhonda. This one tweet, Becky has the armbar on. Rhonda's husband's head and face is uh, photoshopped on top of Rhonda's fist. That's hilarious. I'm sorry, that's hilarious. That is not offensive. That is hilarious. That is A plus 100% awesome Twitter game right there. That's a real comeback on Twitter. She destroyed Rhonda. Destroyed her with that tweet, in my opinion. She destroyed her. Probably got Rhonda even more angry. So she writes back. I, I believe uh, this feels like this Twitter war feels like now they have legit heat. Real heat. Nothing fake about it. No story. This isn't a storyline. I don't believe. These tweets back and forth. There's no way in hell Vince or WWE liked these tweets. They didn't like that they these two did it. They are pretty pissed that these two got in this uh, Twitter war and both went back and forth at each other. They went at each other's throats. And uh, Becky won and basically finished Ronda and slit her throat like a Mortal Kombat fat fatality. That's what Becky did to Ronda. Destroyed her. Um, they do a lot worse in Mortal Kombat than that. Trust me. If you know what fatalities are from Mortal Kombat. 
she probably lit Rhonda on fire, chopped her, all her body power, parts up, and uh, burned her body, and Rhonda's bones fell in a pile of ashes. That's what uh, Becky did to Rhonda last night. So that got Rhonda even more angry. 16 hours ago, she responded to Becky. And this went on. Well, I think that was the last response Rhonda did. So this is the last tweet Rhonda Rousey did at Becky 16 hours ago. She says, Rebecca Quinn. I bet Rhonda thought that piss off Becky that she's giving her real name out. I doubt it pissed off Becky. Rhonda probably thought that'd make her mad or something. Again, uh, Rhonda, you don't get in a Twitter war when uh, your Twitter war game, you're going back at people that piss you off or destroy you or you responding to them because you didn't have to respond, Rhonda, but you did. You responded to Becky's uh, jail photos. I will say they did look fake, but who cares? They were damn hot. Becky looked super attractive. Anyways, Rhonda, her Twitter game and trying to get back at people on Twitter, she's at a kindergarten level. <laughs> Becky's at a college, graduated, master's level. Master's degree, college educated, college graduated level. And Rhonda's at a kindergarten level on Twitter, my opinion. Even Charlotte. I've seen Charlotte destroy some fans that badmouth her and just do absolutely stupid crap, stupid tweets to twit to Charlotte on Twitter. I've seen fans that attack Charlotte all the time. And I've seen Charlotte come back and destroy them and shut them the hell up. This one fan said something really dumb. I don't remember it. Like two, three weeks ago. Anyway, Charlotte came back at him, and the guy got so destroyed, he deleted the tweet that he tweeted to Charlotte. He had to delete it because the guy got so embarrassed and destroyed. So she goes, Rebecca Quinn, this is Rhonda talking, 16 hours ago in a tweet. I don't care what the script says. I'm beating the living shit out of you next time I see you. See, that, that is real heat. This uh, Twitter war is better. It did go far. Probably crossed the line for a lot of fans that did not like Ronda. Or I saw a lot of fans tweeting. Now they don't have any respect for Ronda, all that. Or they lost a lot, a lot, of, lot more respect for Ronda than they had. I don't know Rhonda personally. I know her views are insane of a crazy person would only think that. First off, you should never hate. You should never hate the gay community, the LGBTQ community. You should not hate them. What the hell do they do to you? They don't bother anybody. Love is love. That's all I got to say about that. They're humans. They're not a different species. They're humans. They bleed red like you. If you hate them, they bleed red just like you. They're humans. They deserve to have love in their life. They deserve to be love, loved. They deserve to be married. They deserve to be divorced. They deserve to be bisexual. I don't care. I don't care. They deserve to be loved. And I guess Rhonda thinks they don't. At least that's what I heard. That she says a lot of bad comments about the LGBTQ and gay community. Shame on her for doing that. 
because they don't bother you, Rhonda. They're human just like you. I don't know why you... I don't understand those type of people. That absolutely... I will never understand them. For them hating gay people. Why? Let me guess. Are they into religion? Probably. And they're stupid. uh, Just... Con, that's it's a con. Religions are just a con, in my opinion. And if you are religious and you're friends with gays or friends with a lesbian, friends with a bisexual, friends with a transgender, and you are religious and Christian, if you are their friends, that's great. Keep being their friends. No reason to hate. No reason to hate any sex, whatever orientation you are. No goddamn reason to hate them. No reason also to hate any race. I'm a wrestling fan. All different races and religions and different from different countries. They all speak different languages. We're all wrestling fans. We should all be together and cool with each other because we're all wrestling fans. I know I'm cool with a ton of different races. I don't have one racist bone in my body. I don't have any hatred, never will, towards gays or the LGBTQ community. Never. But obviously, Rhonda does. And. I'll just say that's her views. I'm damn sure not going to change them. No fans are going to change her views. I still think she's uh, damn good in the ring. And I do respect her for joining WWE and becoming a pro wrestler. And working hard at it. And trying to get better. Just uh, personally, she's she's an idiot. Her views personally are stupid and wrong. Her views are wrong. I don't know what. I guess she's into conspiracy theories too. I guess she said Sandy Hook. Shooting never happened. Well, you're wrong. Yes, it did. And those parents of those dead kids are still suffering and will always suffer for the rest of their life. So shame on you, Rhonda, if you think Sandy Hook did not happen. Again, if uh, if you're a big conspiracy theorist or a religious nut, or If you hate the gay community and the trans community. um, God, I can't think of that word. Uh, Not just trans community, gay community. Drag queen community. If you like being a drag queen, I don't care. I got love for everybody. Until they're rude to me personally, then uh, who, who's ever rude to me, I don't care who you are, I'll probably attack you back. But I know a lot of gay people personally, and they have always been uh, really, really awesome to me. Really good friends to me, and they're really cool people. So anyway, she says, I'm going to beat the living shit out of you. Again, Rhonda can control herself, being like a little child. She could not control herself on Twitter. I believe she was really angry at Becky for putting up a picture of her husband's face on her arm. I'm sure that pissed off Rhonda, big time. And it's hilarious that it did. As I said, personally, Rhonda's an idiot. And she's wrong. But professionally, I like her as a wrestler. And I like her in WWE. 
everybody, every fan that wants to criticize Ronda Rousey for doing botches, falling off top ropes, whatever. Why don't you try to step in the ring and try to do what she's done? Like you would never botch? Come on. Of course you would. Every wrestler botches almost. Accidents happen, you could botch. I mean, the real, real good ones did not botch. Real good ones like Bret Hart, Shawn Michaels, Ric Flair, guys like that. I did not see them botch much at all. So anyways, everybody that uh, criticizes Ronda, you can criticize her for, for her personal beliefs, but in the ring for doing botches, you shouldn't criticize her for that. Because you never got in a ring, and you never got in a ring, and you never attempted what she has done. And she's done it damn good for being a rookie. So I, I don't like that. When uh, fans that just sit on their ass, and on their couch, or in their basement, wherever the hell, they uh, go on Twitter... That's just really stupid. If you're a fan and you never have wrestled or stepped inside a ring, you don't have a right to criticize, oh, Rhonda sucks. She's got off on the mic and she's a botch machine. You don't have a right to do that. And if you do, you're wrong. Because you never stepped in a ring. Anyways, I have not either. I've never stepped in a ring, but I don't badmouth talent for doing botches. So Becky comes back at Ronda. This was a final tweet from Becky and Ronda's Twitter war 11 hours ago. She says, Ron, Ron, you still mad, bro? With a question mark, just checking because you went full Russo earlier. That's funny as hell. Oh, my God. Vince Russo is so goddamn annoying. If you've ever heard that guy talk on his podcast, the guy says, bro, like every out of five words, his first five words, I'd say four of them are bro. Or three of them are bro out of five. The guy's got a real problem. So then she goes, wanted to make sure you made it back okay. That's hilarious. Again, Becky destroyed Rhonda on Twitter. In my opinion, she won the Twitter war and Twitter battle, Twitter fight. The wrestling world did react, and a lot of talent reacted to Ronda and Becky's uh, Twitter feud. Here is a uh, I believe I saw Lana recently created a YouTube channel or started putting new videos on her YouTube channel. I don't think Ronda, not Ronda. What am I saying? Lana, not Ronda. Lana. I don't think Lana and Rusev will be in WWE much longer. I think they'll be gone or released by the end of, by the summer or by 2020. I don't think they'll still be there. Because Lana on her YouTube channel, go look it up. She went off on a video and it, this sounded like Lana is real heat with uh Lana has real heat and does not like Ronda Rousey because Lana went off on her YouTube video towards Ronda and said, you're a hypocrite. You never said you wanted to be a diva and you put down total divas. And then Lana says, oh, wait, now you want to be on there and you're replacing me. And Lana went off on her. Lana destroyed Ronda on that YouTube video Lana made. Maybe she deleted it now. I don't know. I don't think she did. But uh, Lana went off on her and said, you can't replace me. You cannot replace me on Total Divas. I'm ravishing. I am so ravishing and you're not. It was hilarious. So Lana chimes in. And Lana says, me praying Becky breaks Rhonda's arm in her arm bar. So then, uh, 
a fan. This is kind of dumb. A fan attacked Lana saying he took uh, Becky's or Becky or that Lana was mad that Becky took her spot. It was stupid. So uh, Rusev chimed in with a, a gif of Charles Barkley with one of those, uh, whatever, those workout machines that shake. I'm not going to do the motion. I forget what they're called, but it's they're not. <laughs> if you're a guy, don't hold one of those. Looks like you're jerking off someone else. So, uh. Yeah, Rusev chimes in and says, Ronda Rousey is like Charles Barkley, not a role model. That's hilarious. Um, Tyler Breeze chimed in about it and says, Cool, I guess we can say whatever we want on Twitter now. And then he put hashtag shit, hashtag nice. Uh, no, you can't, Tyler. You probably wish you could, but you, I don't. You still can if you're a part of WWE. You're gonna have heat on you if you do tweets that are offensive and not PG. And again, Ronda tweeting look, looks like you have a dick to Becky. That is not PG, and that is stupid. She should have never thought of that to tweet that. You're an idiot, Ronda. So then, uh, and by the way, uh, Rhonda started it. Rhonda, st- Rhonda asked for Becky to post a picture of her husband's head on Becky's arm. Rhonda asked for that from Becky. Because Rhonda said, Becky, you, well, something about, I don't remember, but something about you're the man. So where's your dick or something? It was stupidity from Rhonda. So then Luke Harper chimes in and Tyler Breeze tweets to Luke Harper, hey, Luke Harper, I don't care what's supposed to happen. Or Yeah, I don't care what's supposed to happen next time I see you and I'm going to beat the shit out of you. And then Luke Harper replies and says, you should pick someone on TV next time, bitch. Uh, that says to me that or they were just having fun. Luke Harper, Tyler Breeze were just having fun, in my opinion. But uh, they probably are tired of being a part of WWE. In my opinion, they probably like to be released and gone because they're never used on TV, hardly ever. I think Luke Harper was injured, might still be, but whatever. If he's ready to return, I don't think they'll use him. And they stopped using Tyler Breeze also. So in my opinion, Breeze and uh, Harper are having fun back and forth. But they probably would both like to be released. That's just my opinion on that. So then Rhonda responds to... Or no, Xavier Woods responds to uh, Rhonda saying she'll beat the living shit out of her the next time she sees her. Xavier Woods put a gif of, uh, looks like Beyonce eating popcorn. That's pretty funny. I'm not going to talk about what Glenn Galberti said, Disco Inferno. I'm not going to talk about him because he's a hack. And he doesn't deserve to have his tweet read. So, uh... There it is. A couple wrestlers reacted to Rusev, Lana, Tyler Breeze, the Luke Harper, Xavier Woods reacted to the Twitter feud. Now let's go to this article, and I believe this. I believe it. WWE is upset with Ronda Rousey and Becky Lynch's Twitter war. They should be, but again, I was really highly entertained by it. I enjoyed it. Felt it feels real, like they got real heat. And when they step in the ring together at WrestleMania, I don't care if it's in a triple threat, when they step in that ring together, 
No, no fans are going to know if they both are going to just lay in a lot of stiff, hard shots to each other because they're both angry at each other. Uh, first off, Becky is inside Rhonda's head. Definitely got in her head. And I bet you anything, Rhonda's a lot more angry than Becky about the Twitter war and Twitter feud. I just feel Rhonda's that kind of person. She's probably furious and really wants to beat up Becky. Becky probably thinks it's funny. And I do too. It's damn funny. Again, if anybody's offended by what Rhonda tweeted, I understand. You have a right to be. But I wasn't. I just look at it as uh, entertainment. And they both kind of crossed the line. But I liked it. Even uh, Eric Bischoff. What did Bischoff say? I think I retweeted what Eric Bischoff said about it. Yes, I did. He said, He's fascinated by the Twitter battle between Becky Lynch and Ronda Rousey skirting the PG parameters on TV by putting the edge on the social media exchanges. Smart. And then he writes, hashtag everybody's happy. That's from Eric Bischoff 13 hours ago. So now WWE says... They are adding an extra level of realness and uh, by pushing various feuds and storylines forward. Um, I don't believe WWE told... Well, they probably did say to Becky, you can tweet whatever you want. Just don't curse and use dirty words. Again, Rhonda, you shouldn't have tweeted that. I'm talking about... You're the man, you would like to have a dick, or my arm looks like a dick, or your dick. You're stupid for tweeting that. You're stupid. Again, that is Becky destroying you on Twitter and showing that you have no Twitter game. So then, this is uh, pretty stupid. It says about in recent weeks, uh, management may not be. Best pleased at their Twitter feud over the last one or two months. So then a wrestling site on Twitter says uh, the Becky Lynch, Ronda Rousey stuff this afternoon, yesterday afternoon. The word, the word for word language was not approved by WWE. Uh, no shit. Of course it wouldn't be. They wouldn't tell their talent. Oh, can you say, use whatever you, say whatever you want to say. Use whatever language you want to say. You can't do that. If you work for WWE and... I, look, I enjoy it. I said that. I was entertained by it. But if you're a talent... You, first off, if you're a talent under contract to WWE, you should not be attacking uh, fans like Corey Graves or attacking journalists. That's what Corey Graves likes to do on his time on Twitter. He, he needs to stop that crap, attacking uh, journalists and some fans he attacks. I, Corey Graves, that guy's got real issues, real problems. That guy's still uh, butt hurt that CM Punk's not his friend and he cries about it on Twitter, or he did. So it says, don't be, don't be naive and think it was. Sure, WWE wants to drum up attention to the storyline via social media feud, but they certainly aren't thrilled with some of the wording use. And I'm sure that's true. I don't think they would be happy. Uh, Vince, Triple H probably think it was funny. But they would probably tell both of them, you can't do that. And don't be crossing a line on Twitter 
and getting real personal. Well, again, Rhonda, you started it. Talking about Becky's, uh, your her arm looks like Becky's dick. Let me go back to it to make sure what she said. Rhonda started by saying dick. She shouldn't have said that. She's wrong. She's stupid for saying that. Saying it just looks like you're holding the dick you wish you had. Again, you went too far, Rhonda. You crossed the line. Not to me, personally. I didn't care. But that was stupid. I was wrong, and you should have knew better, Rhonda. You should have really knew better. But again, I said her brain might not think. She probably doesn't think when she tweets and she's angry. So, uh, first off, that wrestling site, I'm not going to give their Twitter handle. Anybody, any fan could say that same tweet. The WWE did not approve the language and they're not gonna they're not happy about it. They're not happy about the words that were used. Any fan with a brain would know that already. That WWE would not like that. Any fan would know that already. So that's how is that inside scoop? It is not. Maybe that person's a wrestling reporter. Or that site is on Twitter. I don't really care. Any fan would know WWE would not approve it and like it. And I don't, they won't suffer any punishment. Maybe they'll get fined. By find some money, maybe. But they're not going to be punished and taken off WrestleMania. No chance. As Vince, Vince McMahon's theme song says, no chance in hell. You've got, there's no chance in hell Becky and Ronda will be taken off WrestleMania because of their Twitter feed. So the, eh, says Ronda's particular probably has heat with the office or the WWE because she seems to tweet without a filter. No shit she does. She tweets without thinking. She must not have a brain. Obviously, if she thinks Sandy Hook did not happen, she does not have a brain. And maybe she should go to Wizard of Oz, the land of Oz, and try to get a brain from the Scarecrow. He wanted, he wanted a brain. Well, Rhonda needs a brain. I think the Scarecrow wanted a brain. I forget. I haven't seen Wizard of Oz in years. I know, I believe the Tin Man wanted, or the Lion wanted a heart. Tin Man wanted a heart. I don't remember. If you remember the Wizard of Oz, who wanted the brain? Obviously, Rhonda needs a brain. Maybe if Rhonda taps her shoes three times, maybe she'll get a brain. Who knows? I doubt it. So it goes on to say at the end of the article, Dave Melzer. So anyways, Dave Melzer has issued a conflicting report claiming that nobody is doing anything that wasn't approved or agreed to and that these tweets are what those in charge are looking for. Whatever the case, there is an element of cringe to Rousey's tweets. Becky has been her usual her usual cutting cutting self without resulting in to profanity. Either way, both are successful drumming up attention for what remains to be WrestleMania's hottest feud. And I agree, I've never seen when Becky destroys was when Becky's in Twitter feuds, I, she's never used profanity. And uh, I don't like, and I'm going to try to stop using, I don't know why, but unless I'm really ang angry, I'm going to I'm gonna really try to not curse in any of my YouTube videos. I don't have to curse when I'm angry. I don't. 
Not that I get angry much. But I don't need to curse. It's uh, just wrestling, people. It's an entertainment show. I watch it to be entertained. I love wrestling, but I watch it to be entertained. No reason to curse up a storm. Plus, if I cursed a lot, I have a feeling uh, YouTube would probably ban my channel. And I'd be reported or something. So, I don't need to curse. That's the bottom line. Just like Becky doesn't. On Twitter, it's a different story. I'll say whatever I want. And I don't even curse much on Twitter. Not much at all, really. So anyways, uh, the Twitter feud, Becky, Ronda Rousey, it's been good stuff. Ronda's wrong, tweeting dick. That's stupid. She crossed the line, that's dumb. Saying, Becky, you wish you had a dick. Or wish you had one. That's wrong and just stupidity and idiotic. And dumb. Only a dumb person with no brains would tweet that. Something like that. Because my arm looks like a dick. You wish you had one? Come on. That is lame. That's not funny. That's stupidity. You just look like an idiot. So uh, this ends this episode of The List, where it was all about Ronda and Becky Lynch's Twitter war. The man gets uh, two thumbs up. The man wins. The man will always win a Twitter war, so do not challenge her on Twitter. She will destroy you. If you're in her business, in the wrestling business, and you attack her, she will destroy you. And win. Because a man, Becky Lynch, always wins Twitter wars. So don't challenge her. Unless you want to lose. And take a L. Last thing I'll say is. uh, Their Twitter feud has been better than. Probably 90 to 100% of WWE storylines. And television. They're uh. Becky on Twitter is so damn entertaining. Becky is the best wrestler to follow. And follow her tweets if you want to be entertained. This ends the episode of the list. Hope you enjoyed it. Bye for now.